सबको नमस्ते सो लेट अस टेक अ फ्यू लाइन्स फ्रॉम अमीर खुसरो टुडे खुसरो नदिया प्रेम की उल्टी वाकी धार जो उभरा वो डूब गया जो डूबा सो पार सो दीज लाइन्स वी मे हैव हर्ड दे आर वेरी पॉपुलर लाइन्स एंड लेट अस ट्राई टू एक्सप्लोर वॉट दे आर हिंटिंग एट सो हा द वे वी लिव लाइफ इज ऑलवेज a separatist view of life in the sense i am a separate individual i am a separate entity and i must save myself from the rest of the world and then we have a few friends and rest of it is like strangers or enemies you know we don't know what is there so throughout our life we are trying to protect an imaginary self who i call as myself because when we see when we say that i am this body uh, if we really look into this concept of i am this body we will see that we may have the body yes we may have the body uh, but we have no clue how the body is running we have no clue of its digestive system the you know the uh, all the processes that are making it run but it runs by its own intelligence so definitely i am not the body it's very obvious how can i miss this because i have no clue but the body is running at its own pace and when i say i am the thoughts i see that thoughts come and go but i don't come and go what i call myself as i this does not come and go so i would not i cannot call myself thoughts i can see that i can see thoughts come and go i can see feelings and emotions come and go they are fleeting they change so throughout our life we identify ourselves with the thoughts with my story which is nothing but created by the thoughts my story my past my future my family my relations my feelings so throughout our life we identify ourselves as this thought feeling and the body this is the mental construct that we make that the thoughts compel us to make and we buy into the idea of this mental construct of a separate individual consisting of a separate body separate thought separate feelings so this is what we buy into and throughout a lifetime we try to defend this mental construct who i call as myself and um, uh, alongside this game we also see that we are seeking for love we we no one can exist without love so what we do is that now once i have identified myself to this mental construct limited mental construct of myself this is what myself is and rest everything is not myself now i feel alienated i feel incomplete i feel a sense of lack and to in order to fulfill that sense of lack i run towards people towards relationships towards things that can complete me that can give me love that can fulfill me that can fulfill this imaginary sense of lack that i have created so this is what we call as me my myself you know this is what we Uh, identify as myself and we forever kind of you know are beggars for love throughout our life now uh, khusro is talking of uh, the real love what is true love true love cannot be gotten by people we may have soulful relationships where love oozes out of the being but true love is something which we are we are love now you may say that i don't feel that love because uh, so long as i keep on identifying myself with the thoughts feelings and my story 
I will forever be away from knowing who I truly am. That is this light of love. So uh, Khusro says, Jo ubhara wo doob gaya, Jo dooba so par, Ubhara so doob gaya. So the one who says that, Yes, I have found this love. That cannot be. Jo duba so par. Because when it's like almost like a story of moth reaching a flame. A moth is so much in love with the flame or wanting to know the flame that the moment it enters the flame, moth is not there anymore in its form. Moth has become the flame. So when we dive deeper into our being, when we begin to turn inwards into our being, the I, the separate I, ceases to exist. It kind of dissipates. It subli sublimes. It sublimates. It's like the moth. Moth is the ego. And the ego wants to know love. Ego can never know love. Ego can never ever know love. No ego has ever known love. It's like the moth going closer and closer to love, diving deeper into the being. And the moment one, if I can use the word, touches that fountain of love, which is our own birthright, which is present within all of us, ego cannot be. Ego dissipates. It is like, like a smoke. It just goes away. So the moth that does not exist when it wants to know the flame. So a moth can never say, I have known the flame. Because when the flame was, only the flame was there, moth was not there. So moth knows the flame by identity. It becomes the flame and then love knows itself for the first time. So the, the moth knows love by not being moth anymore. It has to die if it really wants to know love. So ego has to dissipate. The mental construct of a separate entity called myself has to totally sublimate in order to know what love is. One can just be love. That is our true nature. Love and contentment, that's what our true nature is. One can just be love. One cannot say, I know what love is. Of obviously, we use words in day-to-day -day language, but I, that I that knows what love is does not exist. A separate I does not exist when love is there. It is not a possibility. So, Khusro says, Jo ubhara so doob gaya, the one who says, I know what love is, the one who rises out of love and claims that I know love, that one is doomed forever. Jo duba so par, the one who delved, dived deep into the being and did not come out, only that one knew love. Just like the moth, when it went to the flame, it did not come out, it did not survive. So when ego wants to know love, it goes closer, closer, dives deeper into the being. Ego dissipates, it annihilates and only love is what remains. Jab mai tha tab hari nahi, ab hari hai to mai nahi. Prem gali ati saakari, jame do na samaye. So, jab mai exist karta hai, to hari nahi ho sakta. When mai, when I is there as the ego, I as the ego is there, then the Lord cannot be. And when the Lord is, then I cannot be. So just uh, sharing a few thoughts on this beautiful, uh, you know, uh, lines on love. What is love? You know, uh, because love is something which matters to us a lot, right? We we keep on seeking love in relationships and we never find it. We never ever find it. Why? There must be some reason. 
and when whenever we have found true love in relationships also that love is always an outpour of the love of the being it's like a cup is brimming full and it's pouring itself out and that's what true love is it pours itself out just like a flower it pours its fragrance out it does not does not ask for fragrance it pours the fragrance out so that's how you know a love uh, that's lo- that's how love can be in our relationships that's how true love can actually uh, you know uh, without knowing who we truly are without being in touch with that space within we cannot ever have beautiful relationships it is not a possibility so just leaving you all with those thoughts and feel free to delve more deeper and contemplate deeply sit over it sleep over it thank you